It was standard fare in the four years of Trump's presidency to be updated constantly by all media, TV, print, and social, of all the mistakes, errors, and distortions made by the former president. If that same standard was applied to our current president, Biden, our TVs would blow up as well as print media's presses cease. Frankly, the embarrassment of watching press secretary Jen Psaki and other White House staffers walk back, sanitize, spin, explain away, and backpedal almost every time the current president speaks is a historic first. Usually, his words are so sanitized and as processed as coal cuts at the meat counter, there is little room for extemporizing. But the president usually stumbles anyway. But here's the problem. We live in a dangerous time and need a president to lead us out of the fear and division the country is in. It's becoming more clear to the American people, Biden is not that guy. At a time when conviction, belief, communication, and articulation are most important for our country and the world, we have a president who seems to struggle to enunciate a clear thought or one that contains substance. I'm not the only one who thinks so. I could cite many editorials, but I'll leave you with one. In an editorial by Hugo Gurdon, editor of the Washington Examiner, he states, begin quote, in a profoundly insightful comment offered by Senator Ben Sasse, that Joe Biden is constantly giving processed answers, and he went on to accuse the administration of acting like attorneys who focus not on the truth, but on making a case, attending to how things look rather than reality. This inversion of priorities goes to the heart of our culture. The focus is often on making sure things look swell rather than on substance. Thus, we get a constant feed of vacuity from Biden. Fixing problems is treated as a less pressing need than checking boxes and saying things most acceptable to their political constituencies. Whether talking about the pain at, of prices at the pump, in grocery stores, on used car lots, and everywhere else, Biden seizes on existing but irrelevant or counterproductive agenda items and presents them as solutions rather than doing what is necessary to affect reality, not just temporary impressions. He presents a case, a mirage, a boast. But with war raging and tyrants gaining ground, isn't it time for the American government to face reality squarely and deal with it? Well stated, especially if it's clear and articulate. Even the spin doctors at the White House need a break.